Hi, my name is David Seller, and I am choosing to do the presentation via um, the YouTube channel. Um, it's the most common format that we use these days. And so here I go. Um, we're doing a presentation about our um, spiritual community. And so for me, that's really every part of my life. Um, at work, I work at Teen Challenge. Um, I'm surrounded by guys that are um, pursuing Jesus every single day. Um, you know, we are as a group trying to pour Jesus as love into those who have not known Him, um, and really trying to push them to seek Him um, in their everyday life and everything that they do as well to to redefine who they are and their identity. Um, in Jesus. That is something that I do every single day with other people and um, in doing that I find myself very much um, you know, a part of that process as well uh, in my own life um, as well as all the guys that I'm around there. They, they are a part of that with me. Um, at, at church I have my pastor and I have my mentors and um, you know I can't miss church without them calling me up and just asking if, if everything's okay. Um, I have been asked to serve in my church. Um, you know, we as a church are actually looking to do more outreach into the community to serve others, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Um, the spiritual journey that I'm on um, is impacted in so many ways from so many different angles because every single person in my life has something to do with Christ or has something to do with me trying to pour Christ's love into them. Um, this was not my life several years ago. This was not who I was even three years ago. Uh, but Christ came in and did such an interesting work in my life that now this is what my life is. It belongs to Him. It is not my own. And I think that's the most beautiful part of my life. I know it's not mine. Um, I know it doesn't belong to me. And I know that every single day, as long as I'm pointing myself to Him, as long as I'm seeking Him in everything that I do, that I'm going to grow closer to Him. And I'm going to grow closer to being that man that I so desperately want to be, which is the man and person that we see in Jesus Christ. Um, you know, I don't know what the journey looks like in the future. Um, I've recently started dating. And so I'm sure and I hope that my future wife will also impact my journey as, as I will impact hers. And I hope that we will both draw each other to Jesus in a fantastic way, in a, in a way that um, glorifies his name in our hearts and in our lives and, and also in the lives of others. And I think that's where we maybe fall short sometimes, or maybe where I've fallen short sometimes, is this idea that maybe Jesus is for some parts of our life and not every part of our life. But it has been my experience that if he's not in every part of my life, then he's really not in any part of my life. And and I've lived that life. And I don't want to live that life anymore. Um, I want to be a pastor. I want to be a counselor. I want to um, impact the lives of young men who are trying to find their way. Um, they maybe don't know the right way that they too can fall in love with Jesus. And um, it's because of the community that I'm in, it is because of the work that I find myself doing, uh, that my spiritual journey is an everyday, all day thing. And, um, and for me, the type of person that is, you know, all in or not in at all, um, that's kind of how it has to be. And so praise God for that. Anyway, thank you for listening. Um, Praise God. He's always doing something in our lives that we can't see, um, but that uh, when we finally get to that moment where we realize what he's been doing, we're usually awestruck. And um, that happens um, in such incredible and in such beautiful ways. So praise God and have a great day.